The CFMEU is taking the federal government to the High Court to challenge the laws that have forced the union into administration in every state in the land. The government is having none of it, says the laws will hold up. There were big rallies in a, almost every Australian capital city late August as the CFMEU members and supporters took to the streets to challenge the federal government laws that have put the whole union in every state under administration. Here's how your SBS reported that story. Thousands of CFMEU members supported by several other unions all rallying in solidarity against federal government moves to take over the CFMEU. We are going nowhere. We are staying. We are there for the fight. We are there for the struggle. The federal government with this shakedown, they think they are bigger than everyone. They keep forgetting the Labor Party was made by the workers and for the workers. A sea of high vis visible on the streets of Sydney, Melbourne, Perth and Brisbane. In Canberra, CFMEU National Secretary Zach Smith told the crowd the union wouldn't be going anywhere. Administration will come and go, politicians will come and go, but this union will stand long after they're gone. Yeah, well, someone who kind of agrees with that is... Uh, a little bit, but for very different reasons, is our regular commentator on this show, the founder of the alternative non-Labor Party-aligned unions of Australia, the Red Unions, Graham Haycroft. And we do need to fully disclose now that Red Unions are an advertising sponsor of the other side, but that's because they're aligned with our mission, which is great, but we'll always disclose that when we have them uh, in the news part of the show like this. And other unions are always welcome on the show too. Graham, thanks very much for uh, for joining us and for your, for your time. Um, you also believe that putting the CFMEU into administration is actually kind of going to change very little. In answer to that, no, nothing's going to change. Um, what people don't realise is that the entities themselves aren't that important. There's no way the 20,000 memberships of the CFMEU currently going to the 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 uh, if you like the entity in in uh, administration. Now, what they'll do, I predict, and I've got no inside information, no inside information, but we operate in the sphere and I know how they think and I know what they do. They will just quietly move everyone over into one of the other entities. Uh, they've probably got the name CFMEU, something or other, reserve, uh, and that's how they'll continue. So nothing will change on the ground. The problem is still the, if you like, the collusive tendering, legal collusive tendering of the contractors and the arrangements that the contractors have made with the CFMEU. You don't solve anything by having a Royal Commission into the CFMEU. You've got to go to the core of the problem. Okay, well, so what is the core of the problem, Graham, and how do we get to it? Well, the core of the problem is that you have, there's no proper uh, open tendering for government construction work. There hasn't been for 50 bloody years. Uh, the only people that can tender are what they call the tier one contractors, which are the big guys. Um, and the rules and regulations and all, all the stuff that's built around them and the policy means effectively there's no competition. And you solve the problem by simply saying, we'll have open tendering. Anybody that's qualified to tender right, um, can do the work. And when that happens, you then force the contractors to do deals with the CFMEU, which are different from the deals they do now. So that's how you end up with 50 to 100% uh, uh, more for each contract. And God, Damien, with the, the Olympics coming up, it won't be double the cost. It'll be treble the cost because either side of government who gets in will cave into them. So... That's how you solve the problem. You're going to have open tendering and you need to be quite firm about what you allow uh, any union to do. Okay, so the basic point you're making is that we're paying 50 to 100% more for most public works projects because of the way the system works with these closed tenders and deals all done behind closed doors and, and that this is our taxpayer money. We're basically all being ripped off by the system. Um, there's no competition for efficiency and wages and getting the job done as cost effectively as possible. Um, now, nobody wants to deny workers fair pay for a fair day's work, but there's a little too much um, nudge, nudge, wink, wink in the way that the building game operates these days. And you don't think that the Liberal National Coalition will be able to handle things um, any better than Labor? 
They have no idea. They have no idea. They don't understand how any of this stuff works. And worse, they've got no curiosity to find out. They just take the old-fashioned line, oh, CFMEU, naughty, 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 smack, smack, and, uh, oh, we need a royal commission into them and all this garbage. I mean, they're just a bloody organisation which is part of the ALP. They're not a separate organisation. They are an arm of the ALP. And by crikey, they do well. Their membership fees are about 2000 and cost them less than $200 per member to actually provide the service. You've got 20,000 members in Queensland alone. What about the rest of Australia? Um, by $2,000, there's $40 million that's available to be used to support the ALP. That's how it works. There's no donations. It's pin, pin money donations. That's not the issue. There's there's a whole heap of people at the CFMEU. A lot of a lot of them have been dismissed. We saw on the the article in the Courier Mail on Tuesday. Uh, where are they going to work? They're all going to go and work for the new entities that, that the, or the old entities that have been sitting around yeah. for a long time. Yeah. All right, Graham. Okay. I should point out. But that's your humble opinion there about the union serving the ALP and being pretty much the uh, the same thing. I'd be inclined to agree with that opinion, but we uh, do welcome anyone from the ALP or the unions who'd like to come on and debate that point with you about how the resources from all that union money actually get used. You say the fees are up to $2,000 in some cases for services that only cost about 250 to deliver. Where does the rest of it go? Definitely not in direct donations to the ALP because that isn't allowed, so maybe resources. Anyway, that's an important public issue and, uh, and up for debate. And we d invite the other side on to explain that one. Thanks, Graham. Graham Haycroft, the uh, co-founder and head of the Red Unions, Australia's alternative unions, which include the Independent Workers Union of Australia, the Nurses Professional Association of Australia and the Teachers Professional Association. <music> Did you know that for roughly every two nurses in Australia working hard to save lives and take care of the sick on the front line, there's one taxpayer-funded bureaucrat sitting behind a desk doing admin and making and enforcing rules and regulations? That's right, nearly one bureaucrat for every two frontline nurses. In most countries, it's one bureaucrat for 10 frontline nurses. That's how bloated our public services become. But you'll never hear about it from the regular nurses unions because they also represent many of those public servants. So says the leading alternative nurses union in Australia, the NPAA. If you're a nurse, it's time to change to a union that will not only look after you without using your money to support the Labor Party, but which is taking on the government health systems to sidestep the bureaucrats and use the savings to pay all nurses 25% more. That's what they want to do. The current waste has got to stop. All the red tape doesn't just suck up resources and time. It actually means that the nurses left on the front line have got to jump through more hoops and it stops them from being able to do their jobs properly. Admin is a hindrance. So join the union that will actually stand up against bloated government. Join the NPAA, the Nurses Professional Association, will make hospitals locally autonomous and run by elected boards. To find out more, just Google NPAA. The NPAA's fees are half the price because none of your money goes to any political party. And as an other side viewer, if you use our special code OTHERSIDE1 when you sign up, you will get the first three months free or $100 off your annual payment. Go to NPAAREDUNION.COM and sign up now for a better union and support the other side too by supporting our sponsors. Thank you, nurses, you legends. If you like that clip, there's more where that came from in our full show, The Other Side. You can watch it right here, the latest episode. And please subscribe to our channel by pressing the subscribe button right here or down here. And remember to click that notification bell too. It all helps. Join us and become part of The Other Side.